Really that one's brown. full crispy. Yeah. Mini cyclone happening. <laughs> All right, it turned on. Nothing's working on the Red Vision. Oh, and a sneaky drink halfway for refuel. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, we got so lost. This is awesome. This is what we need for, eh? They might not be the prettiest looking scones. This is a first on the road. Mitch is giving me a haircut. I don't even know what to do. How are you supposed to comb and do the scissors? Can't I just grab the whole bunch <laughs> and start hacking? <laughs> she clearly just doesn't look after her hair. Are you done? Well, I wouldn't call that done. <laughs> <laughs> It, you've gone way too high. It's, no, I haven't. Just now I've got to keep cutting the middle so it's level. No, you don't cut the aftermath. I feel like it's not terrible. I mean, you won't be able to see much on here anyway, but... It really doesn't help that I've got like a $4 pair of Kmart cutting scissors. We work with what we got when we're on the road and just save like, I don't know, 30 bucks on a haircut that we can spend on something else. Mitch and James are trying to figure out a fuel issue on Mitch's troopy. All the gangs over there in the shade cooling off. Jess is here making some piggies in blankets. Mm. Piggies in blankets with their toes sticking out the other end. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty standard though, I think. Yeah, I actually have no idea how you're meant to wrap them, so we're just kind of. Yeah. That. I think you do it in like triangles, don't you? Well, sort of, but this time I'm not. Put the little piggies in. How nice. good's that? See you in 10 minutes. Don't. What happened? What happened? I don't want to be on the camera right now. This is... No, what? stop. Put Jess back was in. unsupervised. Go away, stop. So the reason that we're having these pigs in blankets is because the other day Molly was talking about them and she calls them the wackest thing I've ever heard, right? What do you call them, Mo? Cheerios, of course. Right, so Molly and Angus, they're from Queensland and they reckon everyone in Queensland calls them Cheerios. We've only been from Queensland for like two years, but we definitely don't call them that. Cheerios is 100% is a cereal. The cereal. And everyone else in the group said that. So if anyone else calls them Cheerios, let us know. <laughs> it's lighting up. No way. All right, it turned on. It sounds pretty good. Oh, we're gonna, wow. we're gonna see what happens. Light. That's not light, great. Light, light. Navigation system error. Looks light. like the camera's fine. Doing a bit of calibrating. Still not sure what the go is. The drones are no go. So we've submitted a claim to DJI. Hopefully they can get back to us shortly, and who knows what they're gonna say. So. As soon as we're in another town where we can get a drone, we will get some more action shots of wherever we are for you guys. Ripper of a night, of an afternoon, and the boys are at it. We'll play some diff oils. Hey, Mitchy. Yeah, victim two, pop tight. Bit of diff oil, but try goes on. That's right. Just got up this morning and the Red Arc's not responding to the app and Starlink's not working, so come down, have a sus, and nothing's working on the Red Vision. No lights, voltage is testing 0.5, and got the car on, it's still not charging. So I'm gonna investigate further. We've got the solar panel hooked up, half in the sun, the sun really hasn't come up yet. It's all resolved. Boys and I figured it out. We charged it up enough with solar for it to come back on, and now the car's doing most of the work. So hopefully, it's all sweet. I think it was just flat from the Starlink because it, it bypasses the Red Arc stuff.
Have a good swim. Yeah, that was beautiful. Yeah, we've just packed up, heading back to the cars to go to Barnett's Roadhouse, make some lunch there. Uh, I think we're camping. Manning Gorge. Manning Gorge, yeah. I don't think we're gonna squeeze Manning Gorge in today, but we'll just see what everyone's doing. We found the road after an hour's, it's probably more than an hour's walk. Yeah, we got so lost in the middle of like the bushfire bushes. Yeah, Jess just started walking off into the forest. It wasn't my fault, no one else stopped me. <laughs> Jess, you knew what you were doing. Well, look like it anyway. <laughs> yeah. We trust confidence. you. <laughs> yeah, the confidence. Confidence is key. The oh, Gus is tired. Come on, Gus, oh, not far yet. Oh. Let me show you. All the flies, Stop, stand still. Look at all those flies. That is so chat. Everyone's not too happy with me. But it's all part of the fun. We were proper lost at the end there. And luckily we did have like some form of maps where we could kind of see where we were and we could see where we had parked the car. But you can absolutely see how people get lost in the bush and they're just lost for days because they can't get their bearings. Because once you're in there, especially because they've done all the back burning through here, like we had no idea where we were. Um, and we just kind of assumed where the track was because it was not well marked at all. Um, so if you're gonna do Barnet's Gorge, definitely mark on your map or wiki camps or whatever where you've parked your car um, and make sure you've got, you know, some way to see where you are so you know which direction you're traveling. Cause that, that was a little bit wild. Yeah, that goes for any walk. Like I've got yeah. all trails. All trails is awesome, it's free. You can yep. get a paid subscription as well, but you just press start where you where you want to leave from. Yeah, and, and then it shows you your little track, so then you can backtrack on it, yeah. which we definitely could have done a bit better. We didn't really think to even look at that until we were kind of already heading the wrong way. Yeah. Um, but yeah, especially like it's so hot. Anyway, but yeah, now we're heading to the Barnett's Roadhouse. <laughs> <laughs> you could not do it when you're drunk, eh? Hey? Go. Wouldn't want that one on the sports bet, guys. Who is better, Mitch or Jess? Dollar 10 on Jess. Dollar 20 on Mitch. Oh, wouldn't want too much money on that one. <laughs> Dinner of champions. My favourite. Let's <laughs> run the Manning Hike walk. You do have to go across the river to start the walk. Angus is taking one for the team and going across to retrieve the tub. Oh, yeah. oh, now, so it's Got like seven people <laughs> stuff in this tub. Yeah. All right, we're on the hike. It's 5K's return. We've got Molly and Angus and Ari's tagging along as well. The other guys are gonna do it a bit later or tomorrow morning, cause they got the dog. Molly's in a massive fan of hiking, so there might be a bit of swearing later on in this video. <laughs> Especially after yesterday's incident when we all got lost. But this track's nice and like well signed. It's got heaps of arrows on the ground and stuff. So we should be sweet. You're not allowed to fly drones at this one, which would usually be a bit of a bummer because it's going to be so impressive. But since we don't have a drone at the moment, it actually, like I actually like the fact that you can't have drones because I feel like I won't be missing anything. 
There's the first glimpse. It's pretty nice. So that whole black section would usually be pumping with water. So we're definitely at the end of the dry season. So it's really not pumping too much, but it's still really amazing. Whoa. And out of hand. Your turn, Angus. <laughs> Oh, that was good. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh my god. That was bloody majestic. <laughs> when you're falling. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> You're a bloody animal. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, one, go. What? She wants a magnum. <laughs> yeah, right, right. Two hours later. Three, two, one, go. Seriously epic. Those that, rock jumps in the mid. Yeah, that was so much fun. I even dropped off, jumped off the top one, which I'm sure Mitch will want to include that video on here. Oh yeah, two minutes later. Yeah, it took a little while, but I got there. Um, but it was actually so much fun. But yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. The only thing we regret is that we didn't bring lunch and pretty much our whole group said the same thing. Yeah. Because it's definitely the sort of place where you should pack as if you're going to spend the whole day there. You know, bring heaps of sunscreen, bring heaps of water, bring your lunch. Yeah, sandwiches and you could, or food, Yeah, whatever. you could stay there all day. It was seriously probably one of the best places on the Gib yeah, so far. For sure. Just like a lot of fun jumping off the rocks and oh. massive swimming hole. Wasn't too crowded. Even if there's heaps of people, like you've, you've all got your own spots, which is nice. Like there's plenty of space to chill out on, yeah. play on the rocks or do whatever. Yep. And it's a 5k return walk, so it's nothing too crazy. A um, little bit of rock scrambling towards the end, so wear proper shoes. And you do have that fun little bit at the start and the end swimming where you have across, to swim. Yeah. But I just reckon that makes it so much more fun. Yeah. And you get to cool off. Like how often on a hike do you go for a swim on the way there? Yeah. So that's pretty cool. So that was pretty cool. I think this is day seven on the Gibb River Road. Um, we've just packed up from Manning Campground. So it was 50 bucks a night. For two people. Yeah, it was 50 bucks a night and then 30 bucks for the second night. So we did stay there two nights, but it does include the permit to get to Manning Gorge, which, which was really nice. And now we're just on our way to Galvin's Gorge, which we're just getting to now. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's a really nice rope swing. Um, it's not too busy, which is nice. Um, but I think we're going to spend the whole day here because it just looks absolutely beautiful. Yeah. I also just want to quickly add, I just watched the video of me jumping off that really high rock <laughs> yesterday. And in the video, it looks like it's not even that tall. And I look like the biggest idiot waiting up there for so long. But I promise you, when you're up there, like it looks so high. So keep that in mind when you watch it. jumped, he'd buy me an ice cream. And then when I was 
doing backflips before, trying to do the backflips, he yelled out and said double or nothing. So if I land one, I'll get a second one and I'm not just getting some paddle pop from the corner store, I'm getting a full-on gelato cream shop ice cream. It's gonna cost Mitch a fortune, but that's what he gets. Oh, it's getting better every time. <laughs> <laughs> Are you alright? Yeah. <laughs> Still no ice cream? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at least at least I tucked that song. <laughs> That's true. You're learning. Oh uh, my <laughs> <laughs> get it I feel like that last one should definitely count enough to get an ice cream even though I landed on my face and it really hurt I feel like I, don't know. I so think I deserve one yeah but the deal was you do the flip that last one that's got to count we'll put in slow-mo and you can tell us if that counts as doing one and if it does let us know and Mitch is gonna owe me the fattest ice cream like Four scoops, sprinkles, yeah, I don't know, dribble, whatever. Yeah. Dribble, scoop, on a cone. Yeah. So the next big thing on the list is Bell's Gorge, which looks absolutely beautiful. That one is in a national park, so that comes under the National Park Pass. A lot of the other ones in here, you do actually have to pay a separate permit fee. They give, like, the roads are so smooth, it's made it that much better. Because yeah. there's no hassle. At the moment, it's, it's as smooth as a highway. You can probably tell that there's no corrugation. Yeah, like, like the chairs this isn't aren't bumpy sweating. at all. It's actually really, really good at the moment. I think we got really lucky with the timing. We decided that we'd do the Bell Gorge hike today. So it's about three o'clock and we're just starting it now. From memory, I can kind of picture what it's like, but then we don't have service, so we can't really double check um, some of the group decided not to do it one of them has a dog and this is in the national park so they're not allowed and some of the other guys might do it tomorrow um, so it's just us rocking this one right now you're not allowed drones here again which is fine with us since we don't have one anymore yeah still on the hunt for a new one The first little walking point we did was up onto that ledge and you could look onto the waterfall from up there. And then once we walked around, you could then see this whole gorge through here. And you can actually swim down the bottom. So that's really nice. Super nice water, very slippery. There's actually some rocks that go down on an angle pretty long and they're all mossy. So just be careful when entering the water because it is very slippery. showers but had showers and flushing toilets um, and it was $17 per person we actually met Mitch and Paris and Ari they were there and they're doing Bell Gorge this morning um, we did it in the afternoon so we're now heading we have to backtrack a little bit we're heading back to Adcock Gorge um, we missed it yesterday only because everyone kind of said that it's not flowing and it's that because it's you know the end of the dry season it's quite dry but then Mitch and Paris and Ari went 
yesterday and they said it was actually really beautiful so we are just backtracking back to that this morning I think when it's flowing uh, just after the wet season it would be really nice you'd have a big waterfall coming through there um, the water is a little bit murky just because it's you know a bit stagnant at the end of the season um, but still really nice so if you're here more towards the start of the the dry season just after the wet seasons ended I think it would be really worth it but um I don't think we'll swim just because it's a little bit murky and stagnant but you could swim but I think we'll just give it a miss yep off to the tunnel yep just filled up fuel two dollars 85 a litre Ouch, <laughs> that yeah. one hurts the bank. <laughs> you need it though. Yeah, so we're on our way now to Tunnel Creek. So it's a really cool walk. It's 750 meters through a tunnel or like a cave in the dark. Some spots like a neck deep water and there's freshwater crocs in there. So it all sounds a little bit scary. It's but a bit overwhelming. Yeah. We're not really sure what to expect actually, but we have to have the head torches on so we can see where we're going. Um, and yeah, I just, I don't even, I don't know what to expect, but I'm honestly a bit scared. I'm actually thinking about it very nervous. I really hope Molly hasn't done it yet because I'd love to see her reaction through it. I think they were planning on doing it this morning. It's quarter to 10, so they might have already started it. And then Mitch, Paris and Ari, We'll probably get there around lunchtime, so hopefully between those two groups we can kind of tag along with someone so that we're not just doing it alone. Yeah. So yeah, we'll Maybe just we'll make it. Yeah, we'll just see. We just caught up to Ari. He must have only been like they must have only been a couple minutes in front of us because he just pulled over to take some drone shots of his car driving and we've just caught up to them at the side of the road so at least we know that when we do tunnel creek we're going to be with other people yeah and it's not just going to be us going into this scary water. yeah <laughs> which is a massive relief honestly yeah well, it'll be sweet got my head torch ready full ready to go we're in like swimmers and hiking boots not really sure what we're in for. I'm really hoping we don't see any crocodiles because when you're in a pitch black cave, like even though they're just freshwater crocodiles, it's definitely going to be a little bit scary. So. That's crazy. That's where we're going. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. These rocks are so smooth. Who's ready? You follow those neon things. I'm not going first. Can I have someone come with you? I see how deep it goes. I'm scared. Oh, that's warm. Warm? Nah. Is it really cold? It is pretty cold. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, are you coming? Because we're just going to swim. Yeah, are you coming? Because I want the torches if you don't. <laughs> Definitely dead, you gotta sleep. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> this is cold. It's not warm. I don't think you should worry about the crops. They're fresh. I'm not worried about crops. It's just scary. It's just scary. I'm yeah. not even worried about the crops. Mm -hmm. We're, We're just, just swimming. All we're doing is highlight it for that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I'd, I'd rather swim oh. than stand uh, on the ground. Oh, look at them go. Jess, are you ready? Yeah, it's cold. Ready to go? I don't want to be left behind. Yeah, go. I'll go last. Okay. Oh, oh it's cold. 
<laughs> I hate swimming in shoes. <laughs> this is the worst feeling. Oh, I was full swimming in the sand. <laughs> How are you feeling? Cold. <laughs> a bit scared. Cool. Wet feet. Oh, I'm wet boots. <laughs> this is awesome. This is what we live for, eh? This is like dark as. This is the coolest hike I think we've done and it's not even a view of anything, you're just in a cave. There's a massive hole in the hay. Yeah, that's so... That looks like a dragon straight ahead. Yeah. Wow. This is so cool. Yeah, that's true for That is so cool. I've never seen before. I don't think I've seen That's so cool. What is that? So sparkly. I don't know. It's like minerals inside the rock oh. and then the water pulls it through and then dry, it dries in one clump. Is that a fish? I reckon the engineers coming here to save safety or something. Alright, wait for me guys. <laughs> That was epic. That's where we're going. You can't even see anything. There is just no light at the end of the tunnel. Uh, are you right? Yeah. There's nothing in here. No, no. Just, oh, wait. Come on. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh, I slipped off a log. Oh, you scared me. All right, I'm going. Yeah, just don't, don't go like super far ahead of me. Oh yeah. my God, what was that? It's water. Okay. Oh, wait, wait, I'm not even in yet. Come on. <laughs> Mitch, wait, wait. <laughs> ah, stop it! <laughs> <We're still laughs> Mitch. Yes. Slow down, please slow down. I'm right here. Okay, okay it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. <sighs> dun, dun. <laughs> dun, dun. Dun, 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 Why is it deeper this time? <laughs> Why is it swimming with shoes on a sport? <laughs> oh, still can't still... touch. <laughs> Bloody <laughs> hell. Yeah, I can. Okay. Oh, I can't touch. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go. Thank God. That was honestly probably the coolest hike we have ever done. That was dead set. Unreal. We've just, we've never done anything like that. It was so different and scary and fun and it was just so cool. You turn all the lights off and it's just dead black. Like, yeah. so, so, so dark. Yeah, when we were in the middle, we all turned our head torches off and you couldn't, couldn't see a thing. You can't see your hand in front of your face. It's just so, so dark, so cool. There were so many bats in there. Yeah. which was really cool. We didn't see a freshwater croc, which I was actually a little bit bummed. I really wanted to see one in there. I think they're more the wet season when it's filled up a tiny bit more, like there's yeah. not much in there for them. Yeah, like they, they probably couldn't survive in there yeah. anyway. So maybe if the, if the water in the tunnel was flowing out to the creek that is outside the tunnel, um, I think that's when you'd find the crocs inside as well because yeah. they just swim upstream. Um, but it was still, it was so, so cool, so different. And Definitely can, worth the little detour to get there. Yeah, for sure. And then you can actually see like the sides of the cave where the water's worn through. Yeah. And you can see how high it actually gets and it's just crazy to think that much water can go through it's that It's so cool. Tunnel. And all the, I'm going to say this wrong, the stalus... Stalustites. Stalus Stalustites. I think so. Something like that. The things that look like icicles, but it's like rock and water that's yeah. formed it. They they were just massive and so incredible. It was just oh, so so cool. Yeah, that's, that's so glad we experience. did that one. Yeah. What's going on here? Here's some scones. Yeah. Yep. Whose recipe is it? We've got Kim's top secret recipe that she got off her grandma and. I mean, not to brag, but she wouldn't even give it to her own brother-in-law. So, sorry to stir the pot, Glenn. Yeah. Um, 
But yeah, it's a bloody beautiful recipe. And so we're going to have them with some fresh jam and cream. It should be really, really nice. Okay, you know, for an afternoon snack. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking at buying a I don't know <laughs> if this is right. Should be. It's just super sticky and hard when you're doing it on baking paper instead of a nice bench. Yeah, that was, that was unreal. Alright, they might not be the prettiest looking Pretty scones, sweet. but hopefully they rise really nicely in the Weber. We haven't really tried them in the Weber yet, so fingers crossed it turns out alright. Pull the baking paper off. Didn't you get one the other there we day? go. No, nah, because I'm not really meant to eat them. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> As in download it onto the iPad. Mm. Oh, Jess. What? You just punched the GoPro in the cream. <laughs> <laughs> Is it on? <laughs> yeah. That place still works. Clink. Clink. Cheers, Kim. <laughs> How is that? They're the ones. Is it good? That's yeah. so good. So good. Yeah. There you go, Kim. Everyone loves your scones. <laughs> Top gun and a couple scones tonight, and we'll be on. Yeah, that's it. Oh. Well. <laughs> <laughs> the bottom half did burn a little bit, just like everything does in the Weber, because the the plates in the Weber heat up so much. But the top one is absolutely perfect. Like they're just so nice and dense and fluffy at the same time. However, that works. And we have a little. Um, whisk attachment on a stick blender that we just plug into the inverter so we've got fresh cream it's honestly so good we're about to put a movie on the projector oh. <laughs> <laughs> <In the background. laughs> thanks thanks Mitch <laughs> and yeah perfect way to end the day perfect way to end the give actually yeah the give <laughs> these guys are leaving now Mitch in Paris off the broom and Ari's just in the background. He's probably going to leave the same time we are. And hopefully we catch up with the rest of the gang tonight. <laughs> see you later. See you on the road. See you then. Bye. Enjoy. See you soon. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> see you, please. Ari's off. Now we just got to catch up to the other group. They're definitely coming. If they do half an hour each way. What are these called? Molly. Sponsor. <laughs> Cheerios. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. called those. Round two. Who did How's that? Hey, Molly, what'd you say before? What'd you say? These are better than Alambray Station on Cable Beach. There you go. There you go, Kim. You've passed the test. Okay. Finished off the gib. Yeah, how amazing. The whole gib was just so incredible. Oh, it was an awesome, awesome trip. Like, if you haven't done it, you got to do it. Look at the road conditions before you go, but you could almost do it in any four-wheel drive. Yeah, all, all it was drive. pretty good, but then you hear people say that it was shocking. So yeah. it really just depends on when you go and when the grader goes through. Yeah, exactly. Like some people say it's the worst road in Australia and yeah. it all depends on your luck. So just look on the road conditions and you'll be sweet. Yeah, definitely. The Kimberleys are just insanely beautiful. So many rock formations and mountain ranges. It's just so, yeah. so beautiful. Apart from the footpaths and some stuff, like it looks very untouched, which is awesome. Yeah. It's yeah, it's yeah, it is untouched actually. Yeah. It's Mate. yeah, so we're down here for sunset on Cable Beach. We just had some leftover scones, which everyone yeah. said again were really good. Yeah, got the tick of approval, so that's awesome. Yeah, we'll have um, to cook them up again. Yeah, definitely. And then we're gonna have some pizzas later. Yeah, finish off with a bang and that's it. yeah, enjoy the rest of the sunset. Yeah, it's just awesome. Oh, and we haven't told the guys yet that we got a drone. I right, reckon we go and tell them and get their reaction. Look what he picked up today. Oh, Hell yeah! <laughs> Ready? Not bad, hey? Good! Oh, no. gosh! Yeah! yeah.
This is our first official WA Coast sunset and oh, I could definitely get used to this. We're going to have so many of these coming down the whole coast. Oh, it's just so beautiful. We are so, we're just so happy. Life's good. Love and life. Yeah. <laughs>